So living in Kuwait, you know, just prior to the COVID pandemic breakout, living in Kuwait went tripping with Alaska Airlines to Big White in Canada. I can't get over how jealous I am. Yeah, no, it's an amazing place. And of course, at a ski resort, one of the many things to do there is learn how to ski and snowboard. So I am taking notes. Let's watch. Well, we made it all the way from Hawaii to the slopes of Big White. Look who joined me, Chris Latronic. Woo, good to be here, here Big White. Things are beautiful here. How are you doing, Tanya? I'm great. You know, we've been here before. This is one of my favorite places. What do you like about Big White? I love everything about it. This is actually the first time I learned to snowboard or even saw snow for the first time. It's a winter wonderland. There's actually not too many people here, and I had a great experience. So, things are awesome. Hawaii loves Big White. There's even a Hawaii week here. And for surfers like you, it's kind of like surfing the snow, right? Oh, absolutely. But you don't have to worry about paddling. You just take the lift right up to the top as if it's the wave and you have a whole mountain to surf down. It's well, amazing. I think we need to take advantage. We got something special planned. Let's go. Ooh, let's go. Meet our instructor. We are chomping at the bit. The snow looks amazing here with Jamie, an instructor. Tell us about Big White and what makes this place so special. It's the snow. That's our slogan. The amount we get, the dryness of it, and the amazing terrain that we have available for everybody. Yeah, so it's different. It's a little bit lighter snow. What kind of contributes to that? It's super, super light. Our average temperature over the season is 23 degrees Fahrenheit. And the storms come in over the Pacific. They hit a few mountain ranges first. And each time it hits a range, it dries out until it falls here and gives us the Okanagan champagne powder we're famous for. What are we going to get to experience? So we're going to head on up at 8 o'clock. We're going to get at least half an hour, so two, sometimes three laps, if we're quick, of the best grooming or the best powder, just completely untouched terrain, and it's all going to be for you and Chris today. That's amazing. And Jamie, you have an interesting story, kind of like how people come to Hawaii and never leave. Tell me, how'd you get here? Well, I worked in Europe for six years and thought I'd never been to Canada. I came here and it was just the most epic snow. I liked it so much I moved here. <laughs> <laughs> How long ago was that? Long enough. <laughs> <laughs> Well, tell me about the terrain, because there's something for every level rider here. Absolutely. Uh, we have basically a green run from every single lift, 119 runs that are available to people during the course of the ski season, and honestly, some of the best glades and good family-friendly blue runs that you can spend a week, a month, or even a season having a look at. You guys have some of the greatest programs for learning, especially for kids. Tell me, uh, actually, my son's about to get a lesson. Tell me what's in store for him. Yeah, the programs that we have here, they're set up at different levels from absolute beginner to full-on expert. Uh, we have this specific uh, learning area down at Happy Valley that we custom made. We've got two, three magic carpets now, actually, a new one this year. And it's just the most ideal terrain, low consequence, and essentially the best time that you're going to have learning the snowboard. And the instructors, I, I can't uh, give them as much testament to just how well the instructors are. What makes you guys so good? We have uh, massive amounts of training that the, the resort puts into our staff, and we hire from all over the world. So we actually get to handpick the people that we want to deliver the best product for you guys and girls. Okay, I think we've talked about it enough time to hit the first tracks. Let's go do it. You. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I, I know why we didn't go, Mikey. It was because uh, those two are pros. <laughs> they, they already know how to ride. It's awesome. Okay, he's mad. Well, let's, <laughs> let's bring in Chris Latronic for a recap on all the things that were awesome there. Definitely not a pro, but yes, it was an amazing time. And wow, it seems like so far away. It was like two years ago, but it was such an amazing day over there on, in Big White. And just amazing learning to snowboard. That's what, You guys should have been there because they do have the best program, as we saw here. And we see my son, we Luke. We could have gone. I would have been hanging out with your kids. Learning. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Are you sure that's Luke or is that me? This is Luke. This... <laughs> 
Could be. You know? <laughs> but yeah, so you can see the instructors, they're very good. Uh, compared to any other resort I've been, they never had this kind of learning area. This little, small, uh, fun little uh, magic carpet that you could bring, uh, you could pretty much That's go, pretty cool. do rounds and rounds over and over again. And just until you learn, you could just use this all the time until you get up to uh, the top and start to do the great stuff. But wow, just an amazing, uh, just uh, scenic area. Let but, me ask you this, Chris. Um, go ahead. Is, is it is it a really nice place to, because you've been to different resorts, like you said, yes. is it a nice place to really learn, one, and two, kind of get out there and, and just go? Yeah. I think I think it's the best place to start out snowboarding. Anywhere else is kind of a, a little bit more uh, crazy. And the one thing is the snow quality. As Jamie, the instructor, was talking about, uh, this is in B.C. It's a little bit more inland from the coast, so they don't get that moisture that a lot of places like Tahoe, as well as uh, uh, other places on the coast of, of Canada, actually get. So it's always dry. The snow is soft. You don't see really many icy areas. So the drier the snow, the softer it is, the easier it is to snowboard and ski on? The easy, it's, it's easier to learn because when you fall, you're not going to get hurt so much. <laughs> I like that. He's talking to me. I like that. Because <laughs> oh, no, yeah. it happened to me, too. Everyone, yeah. even the best surfer can go in. Like I said before, me and Brian Kailana, seasoned uh, surfers and watermen, we go out here and we're not so much. Uh, we've been, we were falling on our butts and we definitely had lots of bruises all over the place, even though it was a lot softer. But yes, after I took this trip, I went to other places and definitely not, the, not as good a quality. Quality snow as we've seen here, big white. Luke is having a lot of fun. Thank oh. you so much, Chris. We appreciate you coming in and recapping. And of course, it is a, a quick trip from here to Seattle, back and then over to Big White, mm -hmm. uh, over the border to Big White. So thank you so much, and we'll keep uh, we'll keep you uh, coming on the show to recap your fun, although it makes us jealous. I know. E Even though we're jealous, we're glad that Chris went uh, because he's he would be. Ripping it. Well, dude. He got to, I mean, look, he got to take his son, his yeah. wife went. It was a lot of fun for them. So it That's can right. be a lot of fun for you, too. It's an easy trip with Alaska Airlines.